The executive scorecard is a web-based application. And as I mentioned, um, there's different dashboards depending on the different personas. So right now I've landed on what we call the CIO da um, dashboard. And um, depending on if you logged in, I log, I'm logged in as a super user, so I'm going to be able to see everyone. But, you know, if I was a VP of apps, I would just land on my VP of apps dashboard. But this is our scorecard, as I mentioned. So the scorecard defines um, your strategies. We've got three strategies or domains or dimensions, kind of whatever terminology you use going on in our organization. Within these different strategies, we have our subcategory, which might be our goals and objectives. And these are, this is when we start seeing a measurement here. So for achieved process excellence, um, it has an overall score right now of 1.13. Um, in addition to that, we see a trend indicator. So on this objective, we, uh, uh, flat line is no change, um, where you see this is trending up or we don't have a down arrow, so that would be trending down. And then we have our overall um, KPI indicator. So you can see here that the threshold has been breached and it's moved beyond, it, depending on your threshold levels, but you move from green, yellow to red. So we are in a state where obviously we need to take action. We probably should have taken action, hopefully, in the yellow state, but definitely given red, we would probably start to want to analyze what's going on here. Um, as I click on different objectives, goals or, or subcategories, you can see over here on the right, my information changes. So we call this wired. So what happens is as I want to see different information, I click and then it changes. And so and this also is wired from this um, view or this data to uh, this portlet. So all these different portlets are out of the box and it gives you the ability to look at information in different ways, okay? So we've got vertical bar graphs here. These are groupings of KPIs, or they might just be one KPI that are contributing to um, improved project execution. And then I drill down by clicking on it, and it, it wires to this portlet, which then drills down and shows me, you know, one KPI or a smaller subset. So that gives you really the ability to drill down into the information to see what's going on. Um, we've got different types of portlets. So this is a kind of a radar type portlet. We've got the um, dash, uh, sorry, the uh, <laughs> slip my mind, the dashboard or the um, speedometer type portlet. Um, we've got pie graphs. The idea here is what information do you need to see? For your role and how do you need to see it. So besides being uh, different ways to customize the information, now we can go in and take action on it. So let's say I needed a little bit more information about improved project execution. Okay, so from here I can hover over and now I can see historical information because my score is a point in time. And um, I get an idea of where it's trending, but maybe I need to understand what what it did, you know, historically to give me the complete picture. So I hover over this. Now I've got the historical point of view, and I can also start to see the KPIs that are providing the overall or contributing to the the objective or or goal. And you can see they're both. Um, have breached the threshold as well. So besides hovering, I can click on it. We can go in here. And this gives me even more information. So I've got my KPIs, okay, that are contributing to that. Um, I can go in and click. This is, I'm, I have access the overall group of KPIs, so that's going to give me trending analysis here. Um, I can filter according to time frames, okay? I can change my view here as well. Um, I 
can go into a specific KPI. You can see this one isn't having any problems at all, except for maybe trending slightly down, but it hasn't reached any thresholds. And if this is the KPI that I want to do analysis on, now I can go ahead and take action. So as a CIO, I could type in, um, we need to discuss this during the weekly status meeting. Okay, I go ahead and add that annotation. Um, the next time the VP of apps, or uh, who, most likely the VP of apps, would be interested in improved project execu execution, logs in. This same annotation is going to show up on, on their dashboard as well. Um, if the CIO wants to email this information, they can send an email, um, they can provide a screen, a, a snapshot, and they can print it out. So different ways you can capture this information and say, okay, let's, let's start taking action on that. Go ahead and close that. So we'll go back to our dashboard. So let's go ahead and click on a couple of these other dashboards so you can see how the information changes depending on your role. So we're going from the HP or the uh, CIO dashboard. Now we're kind of looking at a VP of apps page. Again, the um, overall strategies would be the same, but now the different goals and objectives might be slightly different um, as opposed to a VP of apps. Okay, so there, I have to scroll down here so you can see, they've got a, a, a third objective or um, goal under their definition here. And again, um, different portlets or different types of way to see the information. We've got the donut hole, we've got a sidebar chart. Um, the point is, again, the folks, you, the, the person you are, you decide the type of information you need to see and how you want to display it. A um, couple more pieces of information. We can go in and actually take a look at where some of this KPI information is coming from. So this is an example of the out-of-the-box content, right? We've got um, different pages set up. If we go in, let's go into the CIO one since we're familiar with that. If we go in to our different scorecards or pages and we drill down into our strategies, goals, and objectives, now you start to look at, you saw this before um, when I hovered over it, but in addition to seeing this historical information, now we can get into actually looking at, okay, where is this information coming from, okay? So this is coming from SLM, Service Level Management, and you, you can understand um, the if we have filters on it, how it's being pulled in, and then, of course, your threshold. Okay, so why is this one not red, right? So our threshold is when it just reaches a 90, so forth. So it's very easy to get into this information, change it, customize it, understand it, drill down on it, and take action on it.